Hello folks, I'm OdinSpack33, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3, the advanced version, part number 13. On the last part we finished Pipe Maze, and now we are on to Bowser's Castle, world number 8. It was called Darkland in the original game, and I think it had a different name in All-Stars as well. I want to say it was called, like, not quite Bowser Land, but it was definitely called something else. It's just not coming to mind, but I'm pretty sure it's called Bowser's Castle in this game. Anyway, these levels work a lot different than the rest of the game. Uh, do I need a power up? Not really. We're pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're we're good. I'll stop doing that. This first level here is a tank. So a lot of the levels in this world are basically like airships, but they act different because well, this is a tank, not an airship, right? So it's a this is like an armada of tanks. Like this isn't just like one tank. This is or actually, you know what? This one is this one of you no, know, yeah, yeah. This one is an armada of tanks. There is a I believe there's another tank level that's actually one big tank later. Yeah, this is a bunch of them. Maybe I should use a power up because I'm already down a hit. Um, so these levels are... N don't mess around. Uh, there's not a whole lot of secrets I can show you about them, unfortunately. As you can tell, it's an auto-scroll, so there's not a whole lot to show. Um, but unlike all the airship levels where they like kind of dip up and down, these do not. Because, well, they're tanks, so they're rolling, a lot, <laughs> rolling along the ground, so. Not a whole lot to show here. Just move forward and don't get hit. Just dodge all the stuff. You got cannonballs and bombs and bombs, sorry. And uh, you got uh, rocky wrenches. I can't believe I got hit again, by the way. I'm kind of mad. And you got these big cannons that shoot out these big old cannonballs at you. I gotta be careful here. So I'm almost uh, dead. Right, I'm at the end of the level here. I don't think there's a power up at the end here. No. And at the end here, of this first level anyway, there's a boomerang brother. Just gotta be careful there. Uh, the rest of these airship levels, well not airships, but you know what I mean, like all these vehicle levels I guess. They all have boom boom at the end. And they unlock those locked doors like you can see there. Yeah, so you save after every one, which is kind of lame. If I weren't recording right now, this would really suck. Alright, so this next level is a swimming... Well, it's a ship, isn't it? Like a lava ship. Lava? Um, but, I mean, you won't really be underwater or anything. I mean, you can swim in it. It's actually not lava. I mean, I, I have... Like, it is. Maybe it's just really dirty. I don't know. It's in On the map, it clearly looks like it's in lava. Also, that power-up's pretty hard to get, and definitely not worth it, but it's a fire flower if you can manage it. Or a super mushroom, which would be a lot more manageable if I didn't have anything. Uh, they don't, like I said, they don't really give you power-ups here. This is why you want to keep your inventory stocked full of items for, for uh, this point right here, this point of the game. Although, mainly I've been just kind of stockpiling power-ups so that when I finish uh, the main game, I can, when I start revisiting levels, I can use the power-ups that I want to show off certain secrets and whatnot. But yeah, these rocky wrenches, you know how they came out of little holes? Now they're just kind of just peering out of the woods, so you're just sneaking out, you don't have a chance to even see them. But these these large cannonballs, you can jump on them. They're just larger and they travel faster, that's all. Not too big of a deal to, to deal with. <laughs> but yeah. I like I like the design of these ships too. You can kind of like you can see how they're designed into cannons with the pipes and stuff. It's pretty neat. I really like it. I'm surprised they don't use bullet build blasters at all. That seems like an obvious choice for a weapon on here, but they're not. Anyway, uh, we got boom boom now, and we got fireballs. So we're just gonna mess them up <laughs> because he's boom boom, and he's still easy. He's actually probably his easiest variant. Is probably these levels because there's there's nothing in them, you know. What I mean, there's no obstacles and there's lots of space for you to move and get to them. It's not hard at all. Uh, if you take these side p pipes here, as you progress, you'll unlock doors and basically this is your shortcut through the world once you've defeated the levels that open up those key doors. In case you game over, and these pipe sections are unique to World Eight, so I'd point that out. And there's there's Princess Peach. And that is an exclusive thing to um, to uh, advance. I feel like that's not in the All Stars. And if it is, she maybe doesn't say anything. I feel like she is there in All Stars, but there's no Mario or anything like that. Anyway, these three levels here. There's actually three levels. 
Uh, if you move over them, a hand could grab you and pull you in, but you can also just select it as well. Uh, and each of these levels act as, like, kind of like your Hammer Brother fights. Uh, this one here actually has Hammer Brothers, so that's kind of convenient to show that there. Uh, there's a power-up in here. Get a leaf. We'll take this for leaf. But yeah, each of these three, like, hand-grabbing levels, <laughs> like, grab you in. Um, oh, dang it. <laughs> Sledgehammer, sledgehammer bro at the end here, sledge bro. Uh, they each give you a power up at the end, and they each give you the same power up, which is a super leaf. About time, you get guaranteed super leafs here. So if you want super leafs, once you beat in the game, you can just come back and get these su guaranteed super leafs out of these things. Finally, you can get, like I said, finally you get guaranteed super leafs. That's pretty good. And I'm actually need to use an item because I will run out of space if I don't. And this didn't grab me here, so I'm going to show you what happens if you do get pulled into a level. Uh, it's a, I don't know if it's RNG, random number generator, like random, but I'm pretty sure it's a speedrunner's delight to not be grabbed by any of these levels, because then they have to play them. Uh, this level here is just hop across the platforms and, you know, don't get hit. Nothing really hard here. Probably the easiest of the levels, really. Hammer Brother one could be tough. But not too tough. Also, there was a fire bro. I didn't really mention that, but th that's like the only instance of a fire bro that we've seen. They are in World 2 as well. I will show them on my uh, my uh, second playthrough videos. Anyway, I'm going to keep walking over here until I get finally grabbed in. There we go. So that's what happens. And I automatically get grabbed into the level. I got pretty lucky there. I moved over that a whole bunch. I remember I played through this once and I think I got like sucked in like every time. Which isn't even a big deal for me because I love playing all the levels. It's definitely my favorite part of <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 3 is playing all the levels. Anyway, this part is kind of annoying. So you got duck there and avoid the cheap cheeps at the same time. What? I was on top of them. I don't care if I was jumping. I was on top of them. Mario's foot is just like made of steel. When people run into it, they're just supposed to die. So that was pretty dirt. Anyway. Is our last super leaf of these three levels. And this next level is actually really tough. We're going to actually use a super leaf. Um, I could use a P-Wing to show off, but... I mean, to, like, to show off what a P-Wing does. But we'll we'll see P-Wings in, like I said, the second playthrough. And I got a bunch... How many am I sitting on here? Four... Nine of them. Yeah, holy crap. I could have ten if I uh, had gotten that mushroom house, a secret mushroom house in World 7, but hey. Anyway... This is an actual airship level, the last airship level, technically, of the game. It's an airship fleet, and it moves really fast compared to um, the other airship levels. It moves, like, look how fast we're going right now. So, a leaf item is really helpful here. A P-Wing, if you want to be safe. Also, these rocky wrenches here, uh, if you kill them, they won't return. Like, just specifically these ones. And they're not always here. Whoa, I ducked that barely. But yeah, this level can be tough. It's definitely good to bring in a super leaf. It helps make your jumps easier. And so I didn't need a P-Wing, so there you go. And now we get to fight Boom Boom again, because Boom Boom, whatever. I don't really give a crap, Boom Boom. You're really easy, really easy. And there you go. There's the second part of this world. It's, like, it's divided into like four sections. Um... This one had four levels, that last one had two levels. Of course, that tank, the tank level and the ship level are actually pretty long. And if you die, you gotta go all the way back, so. That's the one thing about this game, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I, I don't know if I've even brought attention to it. There's no checkpoints in this game, in terms of levels. If you die, you have to just start level over again. Which makes most of the levels short, because of that reason. Anyway, this third part, this, like, you can't see anything area, um, actually has action panel levels. Uh, there's only two of them. Now you notice we have two cards, so if you do do this game in its entirety and don't skip a single level and always get the proper exit, not any of the secret exits, uh, you will end up with um, one extra card. So you can take a secret exit once anyway. Uh, and I don't know if you saw that, but I flew up there and there is a uh, P-Switch with all those silver coins, a whole bunch of them. Actually, there is another secret. Actually, I usually take a P-Wing into this level to show this off. Anyway, actually, you know what? I'm going to play through this level normally. And I'll... Oh, I don't... I don't want that, but I might be stuck with it. Uh, nope. Okay, I really want this super leaf. 
Uh, I will show off the secrets in this level at a later point, because I don't want to skip too much of the level. I'll just show it off now. I'll show off the proper way to play it, because, I mean, we're almost at the end anyway. It's not a big deal. I feel like there is missile bills in this level, and I want to say that's a Starman. It is. You know why I want to say it's a Starman? Because it is a Starman. There's a one up there. Isn't there another Starman in here? I, I want to say there's a second Starman in this level. Maybe in there if I would have got it. Maybe there's a continuing Starman. I don't know. It doesn't matter now. Ugh. You don't want to fall in there. That's like death. But there is a music note block in there to get out. Although I usually just jump off of a bullet bill to get under there. But anyway, we're at the end of the level. Let's see if we can star trick it. Okay. We definitely can. I just need to... There we go. There we go. One final star for three stars for the official playthrough of the game. Obviously, we got lots of game left to play still. I'm going to show off a bunch of secret areas and stuff. Anyway, we're going to play through this level properly too. I don't usually, but I will just for the sake of this playthrough. Uh, because there's a secret uh, really early in the level that I may have already passed, <laughs> which I definitely know I have. Um, that makes this level a heck of a lot easier. There's a P-switch here? What does this do? What does this do? Oh, it makes all these uh, bricks. You have to jump over the music notes. But yeah, look, the sun is back. And uh, I don't think there's... I don't think there's any Koopa shells in this level. And if there is, it's at the very end. I already been hit twice because I wasn't paying attention. There's one right there. And I died. <laughs> that was actually the end of the level. Uh, you know, actually, that's good. That's the, that's the end of the level because now I can show off the way I just normally play this level. And I'm going to use this Super Leaf because... I'm blowing all my super reliefs now at the end because I can. Anyway, if you go down here, there's a secret that lets you skip a whole bunch of the level, but more importantly, the sun does not appear as long as you don't go backwards from where this lets you leave off. I think the left side is a power up? I think. Yeah, I usually take the left side. Yeah, so you can get a power up in here. Like, this is a lot of work just for like a power up, right? But. The game doesn't really give you too much, so you gotta take it. This is the only power up I think in that level. Unless, I'm pretty sure it is, anyway. So yeah, I got hit by this Venus fly trap, and it happened again. Fudge! You know what sucks about this? This is gonna make this a lot harder. Cause I hate these music note blocks. Yeah, but look at that. We died at the very end of the level. So you know what? That's good. Oh yeah. By the way, if you there's a right pipe you can take in that secret area. And that'll take you to a coin room. No, uh, I think a one-up is in there too. But there's no power-up in there. Anyway, this pipe is really stupid because it literally just takes you to this pipe. That's actually what happens. I guess that's a, another two-player thing that would matter, but I think that's really dumb. Anyway, in this level, you know what? We're going to want another Super Leaf. How many do we got left? Four? Yeah. Here's another Super Leaf. Because you can skip... This level is huge if you don't know what you're doing. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. Like, I kind of, I, I know how to finish the level, but getting there is kind of confusing. There's a lot of doors, there's a lot of alternate paths, but you can skip a lot of this level um, by using the super leaf, and you can break, you can break these uh, brick blocks here, and it just makes this so much easier. You don't have to access nearly as many doors, uh, but yeah, for the first time player, you can, I can see you dying a couple times here because. It's just kind of hard to find the exit, let alone, like, you know, finish, not die. Because you can die a lot in this level, too. Super Leaf there. Of course, you don't need it anymore. You want to jump over here. We actually want to jump over here. This is where you actually want to go. I don't know if I want to go in that door or not. I feel like this is a dead end, so I'm going to let this come down here. Yeah. Got a boo, of course. And I guess we gotta go through this door. Okay, I think we're about where we want to be. Let's go through this door, maybe. I don't know it's been it's it's really been a while since I've done this level, so I think we're going the right way. I think. Uh, no, we're definitely not. <laughs> we're definitely not going the right way. 
I guess we gotta go up here. Dang it! I don't wanna die. Actually, this might be it here. Yeah, this is it right here. Ah, uh, there was another way I could have taken, but that's not a big deal. Alright, anyway, you wanna hit this P switch? And you don't wanna go in that door, you wanna go in this door here. And, what's, what's that? Hmm, who knows. I don't know why that coin block is there. There is a Starman you can get, and perhaps maybe if you have small Mario, you can get a, uh... I never really thought about that. But maybe you can get a continuous Starman. That might have been a feature they added in this game, because that coin block is not there in All-Stars. But you can definitely get a Starman at that level. I never really thought about that. Huh, how about that? We're going to do one more level, and then we're going to save the final level for next time. Because that's how I roll. Because there's actually only two levels left. And that is the big tank and Bowser's castle. Uh, so we'll just take a regular mushroom into this. I feel like that's all we'll need. I say that now, but I'll probably get hit by things. Fireflower would probably be a better idea to take care of the rocky wrenches. Anyway, this is the this is the big tank. I don't understand how it works. Like, how is this above us? I don't know, but it is. I guess this tank is like... We came and see the top of it connecting. I don't know. But yeah, this is one big tank. And yeah, these rocky wrenches are just kind of here, just kind of annoy me. I guess, see, I didn't really. The only reason the fire flower would have helped here would have just been to take another hit over the super mushroom. Um, I want to say that was a thing that wasn't in Super Mario 3. I feel like when you got hit, you went down to small Mario. I know that happens in Super Mario World. And they changed that in the advanced version of Super Mario World. Another Let's Play I was considering, actually, the advanced version of Super Mario World. Eh, maybe in the future. But, uh... I, it's been so long since I played the original All-Stars or the original Mario 3. I just don't know. So... Look at that guy, he just launched that up ahead. I don't know why. Anyway, this is the end of the level. We have Boom Boom. One final Boom Boom of the game. Let's not die to him. I could, it could like it could happen right now. I don't have a power up. If I get cocky, that nah, didn't happen. Boom, boom. Come on, come on, boom, boom. Right that time I got hit to him because I like let him do his thing. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Don't let him do his thing. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Next time we take on Bowser's castle. Oh yeah, Peach is in here. We're gonna save her. So uh, what power up am I gonna use? Probably a Hammer Brother suit. But until then, I've been Odin Spack 33, and see you next time for the finale of part one, really, of Mario 3, and then we'll do part two after, which is, you know, extra stuff. Alright, peace.